Hey Facebook, good morning. It's Jerry coming to you from lovely downtown Guanacaste, Costa Rica. Uh, I'm checking out today to see if I'm coming through and if you can hear me. Uh, last time I was upside down. This time I hope I'm, I'm right side up. I want to tell you a little bit about, hey Zinlin, hi. A little bit about Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in Guanacaste, Costa Rica. Claudia, hey. Rhythmia Life Advancement Center is a life transformation center uh -huh, where we use a combination of, of metaphysical teachings, plant medicine, and uh, organic food, and, and, and hydroclonic cleanses, and classes, and classes and all kinds of, uh, of different modalities to create something that's truly extraordinary. What's extraordinary about it? Okay, 6,000 people have been through the door here. Uh -huh. When they leave, they're given an electronic survey. 95.12% uh -huh. of them say they had a life-changing miracle during their stay. Six months later, 97.55% of them say that that life-changing miracle is still working in their life. Uh -huh. Why? It's the combination of these different things. What we believe in, okay, we believe in something a little bit unique to us, okay, is that, that we believe that sometime between when you're born and five and a half to six years old, you split from yourself, your soul, you split from your soul, you stay within your aura, and that all disease, all addictions, and all disorders are a result of this split. When you fix the split, your life changes. And I mean really changes. How do I know? Because, again, my name is Jerry Powell. I became a millionaire in my 20s. I became a multi, multi, multi-millionaire in my 30s. I had about a, I sold a company for almost 100 million bucks. Uh -huh. So I had everything I wanted, yet I tried to commit suicide two times. Uh -huh. and, and I was an alcoholic, a drug addict, a womanizer, a wife beater, all of the shit that you could imagine, the bad shit. Uh -huh. And something happened where I had this, this, this unique set of circumstances that led me to plant medicine, and in one journey, my life changed. And I mean really changed. Uh, I'm a completely, completely different human. And that experience led me to start the Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in Costa Rica. And, and again, this is really an amazing place. 6,000 people have come and gone through the doors. And 95.12% and of them have the experience that I had. And then 97.55% of them report six months later in another electronic survey that this miracle is still working in their lives. This is really a fix. This is really a change. Uh -huh. So what are we going to talk about today? So usually I talk about this experience, the experience of plant medicine, why it's different here. What, what, and here's another little side thing. Uh, we are the number one rated, customer rated resort in the world on TripAdvisor. Yeah, better than like the Waldorf Astoria, better than all the Four Seasons, better than all the Ritz Carltons, this little place. Uh, and you could say, well, you probably have 50 of your friends do it. Well, we're, we're working on our 1,000th uh, review on TripAdvisor. Hmm. So something is going on here that's super, super unique. Now, usually, I talk about this process. I talk about the process of, of going on an ayahuasca journey and he merging back with your soul and doing all that. But today, I'm going to talk about something different. I want to tell you why. It is my month off. So I've been off for two and a half weeks. I'm off for another two weeks. And we're doing lots of renovations here. And, and I try to take time for my friends during this time. One of my good friends is a uh, thought leader uh -huh, by the name of Panache Desai. And I mean, just an amazing, amazing, amazing guy. And, and he comes here and he, he does workshops here and he, he does workshops all over the world and he's this, this big personality. And he does things a little different though because he's an energy-based thought leader. So when he walks in a room, you can feel him and stuff. He's a really unique guy. And, and a funny guy has the has the the affect of a, a nine-year-old kid. He's one of my favorite guys. Uh-huh. So him and I were talking yesterday. We don't get a chance. 
Uh, I try to talk to him once a week or something, but we don't really get a chance to talk about important things. And, and him and I get stuck. After you do this merger, you can still become stuck. And you become stuck by forgetting about the murder. Uh -huh. So him and I have gone through the same experiences. He had a beautiful rhythmic experience and talks about it openly. And, and we help each other out all the time. Just like friends would, right? And when we were talking, we were talking yesterday on, a, about, a, on, a, on about a half hour phone call. And, and we got through this thing and, and we started talking about what to do when you're stuck. Uh -huh. Now here's the thing. I do not like hacks uh -huh, because the hard work is the work of emerging, right? But I'm going to give you a hack today because him and I uh, know that this hack works. Yeah. So in any scenario, when you're stuck and you can't move forward, that is an I thing. Uh -huh. I am stuck. I can't get my grip. I can't figure this out. I can't progress. I've reached a spiritual ceiling. I, I, you know, something's wrong, my wife is doing the wrong thing, my kids are doing, whatever the thing is. All you have to do is give. All you have to do is give. So the moment that there's this shift that happens, the moment that it comes out of, because anytime we're saying something's wrong, it's victim consciousness. The moment that you give, you can't give as a victim. So, Panache and I were just talking about, like some days, honestly, when there's uh, 90 people here and you're done and da 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 and an old, and old, and you just want time for yourself and you want to be free and you want all this shit, and somebody calls and says, hey, I really need you, uh huh, and you're like, fuck, when do I get a break? And, and that fuck, when do I get a break, is my victim consciousness. And the moment that I give to that person with everything in me, the act of giving is the gateway to freedom because it's its own reward. So here's what, when you're stuck, huh? so what does that look like? That looks like love. Uh -huh. So if you haven't done the work, you haven't emerged, you haven't done any of that shit, uh -huh. maybe you're just doing some, some starting your journey and just doing some stuff, all you have to do, if you're feeling sad, uh -huh, alone, uh -huh, uh, not enough, uh -huh, is give. And give with your heart. It becomes its own reward. What do I mean by give? I don't care if it's walking a lady across the street. I don't care if it's calling your friend and giving uh, a hand up. I don't care if it's actually giving money. I don't care what the hell it is. But if it's given without an intended reward, it is the key to unlock all things. Because here's something else. Once you do all this work, and once you get merged, and once you do all this shit, and people like to say they're, they're woke, I don't fucking like that word, it doesn't mean shit to me. But once you're happy, uh -huh, once you're on the path, and you've done all this work, then all spirit wants you to do is give. So the easy hack is begin at the end. Begin at the end. Uh -huh. Start with giving. Here's something that nobody wants you to talk about. And here's something that will help you in building your business, becoming a better employee, becoming a better husband, a better wife, a better lover, a better dad, a better mom, a better fucking piano player, is the act of giving. Uh -huh. This is hard medicine because Everything is about I. Oh my God, look at me. This is my movie. It's fucked up. Somebody did it to me. I can't do it anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Give. Give without the intention of getting. And all of a sudden, that opens the door. And I'm going to tell you what. People talk about this shit all the time. But have this rest with you. And do me a favor. You tried everything else, right? You tried everything else. You tried fucking... Uh, having cocktails and having sex and doing all this shit. Uh -huh. You tried all that. You tried fucking working the next eight hours on Thursday. Uh -huh. Try this. Try absolutely positively giving to a stranger or to a friend without expecting anything in return. Without expecting one thing. Go up and give a go up and give a homeless person a hundred bucks. Go fucking 
And it's not the act of, of them receiving the money. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. It's about you in this regard. Your giving without expecting anything in return is the end game. Uh huh. So the universe is a giving universe, right? And, and God or spirit or whatever you want to say is a giving thing. Look at all the fucking abundance. It's giving. Look at the grass growing. It's giving without expecting anything. Try to act like nature. Give without getting. Give without getting. And all of a sudden, in that act, it comes out of what's in it for me to, holy shit, it's its own reward. This is its own reward. This is the greatest shit. And I'm going to tell you what, it's fucking addicting. Once you get, get in the habit of giving and you know what a shortcut it is, and it is a shortcut, uh, it's fun. And it becomes addicting because there's joy in the act of doing it. Uh huh. So you're trying all this shit. I remember there were times in my life, and I swear to you, this is the truth, where I had six houses, uh, two planes, a boat, I think 27 cars, and Ferraris, and Aston, I had a couple Aston Martins, and a bunch of Mercedes and shit like that, Bentleys and stuff. Yeah. I was so fucking sick. So fucking sick. So, so full of hate for myself. And the only thing I wouldn't do is give. The only thing I wouldn't do is give. And yet, that is the only key to unlock the dungeon. Giving is the only key to unlock, because what is giving? It's love. That's all it is. It's love. And I'm going to tell you, I don't want to get fucking touchy-feely. That's not my fuck. But I got to tell you, key to the city is the same thing. It's love. So, so I don't care what you're going for. You know, and I can tell you a little story. I had a real close scare with my business over the past month. And, and something that was promised me got inadvertently taken away from me at, at the fault of no one. And I was so fucking sad for me. Uh huh. So sad for me. How could this happen? Da 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 da. And, 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 and for some reason, a miracle occurred and the opportunity to save happened. But prior to that, what did I do? I turned around and gave something. Just when I was at my scariest moment, I gave something that I didn't even have, I gave away. Uh huh. And wow, what a feeling. And it just, boom, popped. And I'm like, holy shit. This, again, the key that has been shown to me, I'm not gonna say thousands, but hundreds of times in the ceremony, is the actual key to the thing. This is the key to your heart. This is the key to your life. You're fucking mad at your partner because they left, I don't know, they did the thing that bugs you the fucking most. Go and give them something for it. Really give them something for it and say, hey, here. And that's for doing that. Holy shit, you want to fuck with a vibration. You want to click a vibration up. Uh-huh, wow, uh-huh. Now some more talking, right? And this is the thing. I can tell you what people talk about. People talk about me and rhythm and that, that crazy shit that you hear. Uh -huh. And this is the real fucking motivation. When I get to see someone in that giving mode, when they give their, their heart and they give, and they automatically light up. And when it comes out of the me and into the them, and I see that, that's the whole reason we do this. I get to see that on an average week here, 77 people. Uh huh. I get to see that in, in 74 of them. Every single week, a brand new life and a brand new understanding of how to be in the world. And I gotta tell you what, the 80s are over. And the thing is, and thank God that they were here. But the day of me as a primary thing is gone. The planet is lighting up. Consciousness is, is raising. And the understanding that we're in this together and that the gift is in the giving, boom. Now all of a sudden, we changed everything. We've changed everything just by being aware that I'm gonna tell you what, you think you can fix your pain by focusing on that pain. Oh, what can I do to fix this money problem? What can I do to do this? None of it's gonna fucking work because it's whack-a-mole. This is the fucking truth. All the way 
I've only ridden it to the $100 million mark, but up to that point, it's whack-a-mole. I get this, boom, I want this. I want that, boom, I get that. I don't want it, I put it back. I want this, 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 and it never fucking ends, ever. But there is an end to give. And all of a sudden, the fullness of love enters your heart, and at that moment, you're emerged. For that moment, you're together. So anybody who's telling you, hey, I'm going to show you a program that can get you more. I can show you that program all day. As a matter of fact, I wrote a book on it. Uh -huh. I know all about it. And that's, that's a great thing. But it's not going to get you to feel that way. Uh huh. It's going to teach you a lesson. You know my, my truth of me is? I think everybody should be rich once. You know why? So they fucking know it's not the answer. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's why I think you should be rich. Uh huh. But... There is an answer, and the answer is in the gift of giving, and that's it. So, so today, instead of focusing on a new way of breathing, instead of focusing on a new meditation, instead of focusing on a new yoga pose, instead of focusing on e eating a, a particular way, uh -huh, instead of focusing on any problem that you're having with yourself, fucking give something and watch that feeling. And watch that feeling and give it. And when you give it, watch your heart. When you give it, and you have to give it with complete uh, detachment. And then watch your heart. And then see what love feels like from the inside out. Uh huh. See what love feels like from the inside out. Uh -huh. So, so that's, that was a discussion between Panache Desai and I. Uh huh. And what, what a true fucking, true fucking, true fucking thing. Uh -huh. A lot of this shit, a lot of people that can tell you you're going to do this, and you're going to do that, and here I'll sell you a course that's going to get you happy. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Uh -huh. Get into the, to the, the habit, because it's a giving, habit is a giving, of giving and watch what happens. Because it's an abundant universe. I hate telling you this, but it's an abundant universe, and I don't want you to do it for this reason. Don't give for the getting. Uh -huh. Can't, but when you give without any expectation, everything opens up. Uh huh. Your heart, your mind, your understanding of life. Hey Meg, how are you, baby? I miss you. I love that Meg. Huh? She made me a birthday cake of a keto birthday cake, which was crazy, fantastic. Uh, yeah. So, so your heart opens up, and when your heart opens up, then giving becomes a natural thing because. Here's the craziest thing about humans. <clears throat> We're addictive by nature. Uh -huh. And what are we addicted to? This has already been proven. It's not, it's not cocaine. It's not this. It's the experience and feeling of love. Uh -huh. So if you put rats in and you give them other shit to do, community and stuff, they won't be hitting the cocaine. They'll be hitting the community. So this feeling of love is what we're addicted to. And it's the thing the ego gets involved and says, we don't have enough of that to give. And that's where the big lie is, because that's all you have. You have an infinite, forever supply of love, which converts, the inside is the act of giving. So give. And I want to tell you what, the harder the give, the better the feeling. So the harder the give, so I, I, I give you an example. So I'm a guy, I work in a bank, <coughs> I... Uh, have two kids, I do this shit, and fucking my one Sunday that I get to play golf, my kid comes to me and says, hey, you know what, Dad, I had a rough day, and da 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 Give that golf up to that kid and make it mean something to you. Uh-huh. And all of a sudden, watch the love that comes for you, from you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So there'll be people out there that argue, they say, well, that's from the universe. It is. But you're it, and it's you. So same exact thing. Uh -huh. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. It gives me great, great, great pleasure to, to talk to you about these things. And, and I'd love to see all of you at Rhythmy. If you want to come and you want to do the work, and it's a fucking shit ton of work. Don't let anybody go to fucking TripAdvisor and see what these people are saying about it. See what the thousand people are saying about it. Yeah? Uh-huh. And, and see what they say, but don't, that's the after. Uh -huh. The during is, 
It's fucking hard work. You want to buy into this? And here's the thing, when you're done, guess what you turn into? The forever giver. Uh -huh. So the hack is start with the giving and forget the rest. Uh huh. That's the hack. Uh huh. Okay, beautiful. Um, and listen, please call us and come and stay. Uh, the number is 1-866-936-9446. And uh, you don't have to book any, but speak to someone about it and see what you say. See if, if your soul is calling you to be here, be here. If it's not, fucking don't. If you don't want to do the work, don't come to this place. Uh huh. If you want to hack the whole thing, just start giving today. Uh huh. And and give with reckless abandon. Give that way. Uh huh. We're all in this together. I love you guys. I'm so happy that you took a minute or two to listen to to my craziness. Again, uh, may I'm going to talk to you this day next week. May God keep you. May God hold you. And may your life be filled with joy. God bless you guys, and we'll talk to you next week.